Quickly. Come on. Yeah. Mate. Oh. Can you get your act together, boys, for f sake? Come on, you get out the f way. Marco's Latin temper is notorious, but his reputation for being difficult has made good copy for the newspapers and for Marco's scrapbook. Once you've done the recipe, or do you like other things, move on and progress with it? Depends whether you can improve on the sauce. With this particular one, have you made changes to it since you started doing it? No. Lloyd's coming in for lunch. Does he eat at Harvey's a lot? Yes. You've become quite friendly with them, haven't you? Yes. There's nothing like monosyllabic answers, is there? No. <laughs> there's no point in doing this, Marco. Well, fine, you can go. Well, then there's no... The door's over there. No, but if you're not going to cooperate... You know, all I've, got to do is is make, no... all I've got to do is make the sauce. Yeah, but how... That is what I'm being paid for. Yeah. Not being paid for anything else, to make the sauce. But I was engaging you in something. So that Sorry, I didn't, want to actually... cut, I didn't want to cut myself. But you can listen and you can cooperate. There's just no, not can't. much point in doing it. I can't, it. I'm sorry. I understand your grammar and I understand if your If you wish me to cut myself on screen, then I don't mind. I'll do it for you. I'll do what is ever expected of me to do. Okay, we'll just You want me to on. chop the chicken? I'll chop the chicken. You want me to chop the mushrooms? I'll chop the mushrooms. You want me to make the sauce? I'll make the sauce. Mm, okay, okay. But don't just expect carry me on. to sell my heart. Never expect that. He's very, very difficult, Marco. He's so bloody unpredictable. He can phone... He can phone me in the morning and scream and shout down the phone, this isn't good enough, that isn't good enough, what are you going to do about it? And slam the phone down on me. And he phoned back up ten minutes later and said, how are you, darling? Well, no, you know, it's great, really. It's one big game. Oh. Cut is in the Old Kent Road is Marco's main fish supplier. It's run by two ex-chefs who've had to get used to the Jekyll and Hyde antics of this two-star chef. He's got yeah. The thing about Marco is, you know, he's two different guys. If you've got the, the serious Marco, you've got a problem. If you've got the other Marco, then, you know, you can have a good time with him. He's good fun. A difficult guy to work with, though. Impossible. I would say. I mean, obviously, you've got to be a very special person to work alongside someone like that. Someone who's very eager to learn and willing to take Marco's tangents. Well, I couldn't. He's here. Beautiful turbot. Beautiful fish. Where are they from? South Coast? Yeah, yeah. Cornish fish. Those Dovers you sent me yesterday were nice, by the way. Thank you very much. For turning them over? No. For giving me a compliment. <laughs> These are probably a little bit too fresh. Basil, you got some really nice f***ing fish this morning. It's always like this. No, it's not when I get it. That tuna is beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I've never seen one before, you know that. I'm surprised you haven't used it. Fat content's not high enough. When you buy your fish, you've got to make sure that they are very firm, that they've got a good, clean slime on them. The brill is very similar to a turbot. I mean, it's a flat fish, it's broad and it's very thick. So when filleting, start there. There we go. Just open it up on the tail. You said it's it's similar to a turbot, but much, much cheaper, isn't it? Well, uh, this morning, when we were down at the fish market, or down at Cutters, it was, the turbot was £9 a pound, and the brill was £4.50, £4 a pound. That's the price. So you can see I'm just sliding my knife under. Another thing you've got to look for when buying fish is to make sure the fish is not bruised underneath. 
How would it look if it were bruised? It'd be red. It'd be bruised. And that basically means that the fish hasn't been bled properly. So many people get fish wrong when they cook it. Uh, that's because they don't have the understanding which is required. You've got to understand what fish is. I mean, every fish has got a different texture. And, I mean, you can take a piece of red mullet and a piece of turbot, uh, exactly the same size, and one will be cooked before the other. So you've got to have an understanding of what you're actually using. Uh, but the thing which a person must remember when it comes to cooking fish is that 15 seconds is a lifetime. That's all they've got to really understand. What is your menu for today? We have the ravioli de riz de veau, ravioli of sweet bread. Ravioli of sweet bread, yeah. With the foie gras and the jus de truffe. Foie gras, jus de truffe, yeah. And then we have the oysters francais. Oysters francais, yeah. Okay. And then we have the rhum d'agneau roti. Rhum d'agneau roti, yeah. 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 Give him table five. Okay, Marco. No problem. Champagne with my compliments on arrival. Okay, Marco.